do the hanky panky, then you turn that ass around. Wait. I went and bought all this stuff with my EBT. I went and bought all this stuff with my EBT. The bitch was nuts. Let's call her nuts. Whoa! Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Whoa. I hate Henny. I hate Henny. I hate Henny. <laughs> Hey, thank you for tuning in with The Real Mina Millions. This is The Real with Mina, and we are back. So today we back with a story time. And guys, first and foremost, I want to thank you all for subscribing. I feel like something in my eye. <laughs> thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for your support and just everything. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for engaging and participating in the giveaway. Remember, we have a giveaway of $50 at 300 subs. And then so forth, so forth, so forth. Um, we're trying to hit a thousand subs by my daughter. What? My daughter's birthday, August 16th. So I now have a P.O. box. So the information is posted in my community tab, community wall, whatever. And it also will be posted in the description of every video from yesterday forward. So... I just want to say thank y'all so much and thank you to all my little millionaires. Like, I greatly appreciate y'all. Y'all are amazing. And thank you for supporting me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at jthedream underscore. You can also find me on TikTok at The Real Mina Millions. I just want to thank y'all so much. Like, I love, 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 love y'all. And I just want to thank you for everything. So, today I decided to bring y'all a story time. A crazy story time today. Yeah. So, guys, today this story time is going to be about the cabin trip from hell. I was trying to tell this story before, like, a couple of weeks ago. And when I got in front of the camera, I just didn't feel good. I could not articulate everything I wanted to. My brain was just all over the place. And I kept feeling like, oh, this story is just all over the place. It just don't sound right. It just sound crazy. And I'm just... Like, details was coming to me as I was telling the story. And, yeah, I know y'all probably like, how do y'all know these stories? Like, sometimes things do come to you as you're telling the story. Some things you forget. And, like, once you put the story time out, you're like, ding, I should have mentioned that. Or I should have added that in. You know, so it's just kind of like a, a summary of what you can remember happened. But we bringing... I'm back, y'all. I'm back. And I'm back with Dino ass. So... Y'all already know. If you don't know from the story time, y'all go look at Dino Chronicles. And that's if y'all want to see with the whole doctor and all that. Yeah. So we back with Dino. And y'all. <laughs> I know y'all going to say, this girl is nuts. Like, how do you continue to just go through stuff with these people and not give up? I am a lover, baby. I am a Scorpio. And I love heart and i love love and i'm a hopeless romantic and i just feel like i just gotta fight with my man and, and just do all of that you know so <sighs> okay y'all so let's start this story time off <laughs> so i'm going to be naming these people as we go the only person going to have a name is of course y'all going to know moi and then dino so let's just start the story time off this is and y'all this is another birthday horror story i think my birthday is doomed i might need to switch my birthday y'all think i can do that like i can move my birthday i love being a scorpio but for some reason i don't know if the day working for me i might need to think about that see if i can get, yeah i might need to do that i might need to celebrate my birthday a month before or something because it seems like when it's time to celebrate my birthday it's just craziness as to why I don't care to do anything or to even plan nothing because I feel like it's doomed. I ain't even gonna speak that. I'm gonna light some sage when I'm done with this video. Yeah, because that energy got to get up out of here. We ain't doing it no more. We grown. But anyways, so y'all, Dino and I, as you know, was my ex and we dated for all of what, eight months, a year. Dino don't have any kids dino is older than i am dino is into the street stuff dino is into a lot of street stuff as to why he's in the feds right now 
So when we were dating, you know, we were talking about all these plans and different things that we wanted to do and all this stuff like that. So Dino portrayed to me like he had it all together. So when Dino got out, as y'all know, he was incarcerated. And when he got out, we gave it a little time before we got into a situ relationship or whatever. I'm not even going to say a situation because we were in a relationship. I didn't just want to jump into a relationship with him. Because we were talking and getting to know one another before he got in, before he was incarcerated. When he got incarcerated, somehow he got in contact with me through a girl, a mutual person that we know. And we started talking on the phone and stuff. And no, we did not. No, I did not put no money on my phone. No, we wasn't none of that. But he, Dino definitely was giving me all the jail talk, right? So Dino got out and then we started getting to know one another. And he was showing progress of trying to change his life. So I was like, okay, we can try a relationship. When we got into the relationship, things was up and down, up and down. Dino went back to a part of South Carolina where he do all of his terrible behavior and activities. I was like, I don't want to deal with that. I was living with my mom at the time. I did not have the energy to deal with like streets. If I had my daughter, I was not about to, uh, but I was not about to risk losing my child for no guy especially someone that's not her dad i'm not even gonna risk losing her for her dad period like it's just not happening so once you know saying we got into it whatever he left and he moved uh to columbia he told me he was living with his homeboy we gonna name his homeboy shit okay we're gonna call him his real name jack so he was just like yeah i'm living with jack i'm gonna move with jack i'm gonna stay in columbia for a while to get myself on my feet again whatever whatever so i was like okay cool so he was living with jack we were still talking you know back and forth or whatever but at this point it was just like mm, i don't know if we're gonna be together or not you got to get a lot of stuff together before i can even take you serious i have a child and i have things i'm in healthcare. i could lose things you know different things like that he also had an ex-girlfriend that lived in this area which i didn't think he was going back to be with her or anything like that like that was never something on my mind whatever so jack comes into play because jack's birth jack birthday and my birthday was the same day so jack had planned a trip he was jack was also on house arrest or tether or whatever people call it he was on that. So he could not leave the state of South Carolina or the state of North Carolina. He could not go beyond those borders. He couldn't go into Virginia and he couldn't go into Georgia. He could only be in South Carolina or North Carolina. So Jack planned a trip to the casino. It's the casino in North Carolina. As you guys can probably see in my previous vlogs, um, the casino is a casino that I do go to once a year, sometimes multiple times a year. It's close to me. It's, you know, it's a nice little getaway up in the mountains and all of that. So Jack knew about the casino he decided to plan a cabin trip which i you know that was what was told to me so when dino reached out to me dino was like yeah we planning this couple's cabin trip and it's gonna be you and me it's gonna be jack and his girl it's gonna be our other homeboy and his girl and then our other homeboy and his girl so like, okay cool that's fine whatever so he was he, you know, he talked about it, but I didn't know if it was going to happen or not. So I'm home. I'm like three hours away from where he is. So he, like my birthday. We he was like, yeah, like we're going to leave on this day, that day. We're going to the cabin. We got the cabin booked already. You know, telling me all of this stuff. And I'm just eating it up, eating it up. So I, it's no reason for me not to believe him. So I told my mom, I was okay, well, he they got this cabin trip plan, a couple's cabin trip and you know that he want me to go and this is supposed to be like a birthday getaway and all this stuff so she was like okay yeah go enjoy yourself enjoy your birthday weekend and have fun so i was just like okay i got all my stuff packed got my hair done my nails done i'll try to insert pictures um if i can find some because i like wiped a lot of stuff my phone my social medias i just wipe things like all of that but um so anyways i was just like okay cool like you know, whatever. So I did all that. Got my hair done, nails done, feet done, packed my clothes, figured out what I was going to wear, all this stuff. So I drove my car up to where Dino was. And then from where Dino was to the casino up in the mountains was like 
three hours as well. So when I got to him, he decided. So I said, well, what you want to drink? I'm like, oh, I want to drink Patron. And because I am a tequila girl, like tequila me. If I drink brown, it has to be Douce or something like that. I, I, ha I hate Henny. I hate Henny. I hate Henny. And it's because of my baby daddy. It's because of my baby daddy. But I'll get into that another time. So um, he got the Patron and all this stuff. He had me a little birthday gift. So I was like, oh, you know, thank you, whatever. So we driving, we going up to North Carolina to the mountains and <laughs> we get up there. So he had an address. We drive, we get to this address. We just drive and looking. I'm like, this not no mountains. This is, this is not, um, but it's not a cabin. It was, it was in the mountains, but it, this was, it wasn't a cabin. So he was like, man, let me call. And then the thing had like, it had looked like a just storage area that just looked crazy or whatever. So he called Jack and Jack didn't answer. So he was like, man, let's just, just wait a second. Let's see. So Jack finally called back like a couple of minutes later. Jack called back and he I was like, oh, um, no, we switch addresses. It's this one. So he sends him the address. We go. We had to go up this steep ass mountain to get into this cabin. So we in my car the whole time. He like, whoa, oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, whoa. So I'm just looking at him like. And he's, man, I know we couldn't have drive my Beamer up here. We couldn't get my BMW up here. My BMW sit too low. Uh-uh, a uh -uh, good thing we in your car. So I'm just like, okay. So we get up there, and I'm already feeling like my adrenaline rushing. I'm feeling kind of like out of place i don't know these people i don't know uh jack's girlfriend i don't know the other couple so the other couple was already there jack and his girlfriend was not there yet so when we go inside um we pulled up the same time another the other couple we're gonna call them couple one and couple two because they ain't not really they don't really need no names so couple one is already there and we, you know, go inside. I meet the girlfriend, the guy, they sweet, they nice, whatever. Couple two pulls up the same time we do. Uh, you know, I speak or whatever, his girlfriend, like she just kind of like, hi, and that's it. Couple one girl, girlfriend, she was more, let's say girlfriend one. Girlfriend one was a lot more like sweeter and like welcoming and stuff like that. Girlfriend two was kind of like, you know, oh, hi, like, you know, whatever, whatever. So... Me and Dino is there, and we just sitting there. We didn't take none of our stuff out the car, none of that. So then Jack and his girlfriend pulls up, and we're gonna call his. We're gonna call Jack girlfriend Red. Yeah, let's call her Red because the bitch was nuts. Let's call her nuts. So Jack girlfriend nuts was like, you know, they pulled up. Like you know, I'm just like, hey, whatever. She doesn't speak at all. Like she's just like, and she's looking around so then she starts talking to girlfriend two and her and girlfriend two is chit chatting or whatever so then girlfriend one her boyfriend is kind of like looking at her like you know like telling her like go mingle go talk whatever so she goes and she starts talking to them and i'm just like by myself like okay so i don't know if y'all ever been in a space where you like by yourself and you don't know people and you just kind of like feel awkward as fuck so i'm in my head i'm like yeah i might be driving back home tonight like the way i'm feeling i might be going home tonight because I don't really do well in awkward situations. Like, I can, you know, I can sit there and be by myself, but I felt like, then you know, like, I'm not here. You don't know me. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm with this guy that's supposed to be your mate's homeboy. I don't know. So, Jack and Nuts have their room. They got the master bedroom downstairs. They putting their stuff in there. Girlfriend one and boyfriend one, couple one, already had their room. Couple two was like, oh, which room y'all pick? Da, da 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 So it was like, man, it's a small ass room all the way up top. And it's only one other room. It's a queen. Both of the bed both both of the rooms on the second floor got queen beds. No, I lied. One had a full bed and one had a queen bed. They had the couple one had the one with the queen bed. So couple two took the one with the full bed. So in my mind, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, okay. So they saying this room on this third floor is like really, really tiny. Like it's so small. So I'm just not saying nothing. And I go outside to the car. So like I'm in, outside in the car. He come outside and he's like, why you came to the car? I was like, like, I don't know them. Like that's your peoples or whatever. 
I can go get me a hotel. Like, I don't have, you know, have to stay here. Like, I feel awkward or whatever. So, Jack comes out and he's like, hey, Brody, like, come here, da, 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 da. So, he, they've been conversing and they're talking about whatever. So, he comes to the car and he was like, yeah, like, they say we can get that room upstairs. Like, the bed is small, though. So, it's up to you. It's what you want to do. So, I was like, well, I don't care. Like, you know, I'm here with you. Like, you told me all this stuff was planned out. So, my attitude and kicked in. If you know me, I'm a Scorpio. I'm very, like, I'm going to shut down first before I say something crazy. So, like, I'm, I have to gather my thoughts. I have to and gather my thoughts before I lash out. Because if I, normally, I just boom. I don't tick, tick, boom. I just boom. So, at this moment, I'm trying to be calm. I'm just trying to go with the flow. And I'm just like, okay, this is all new to me. Just calm down, whatever. So, he was like, come on, man. We could just stay up here for the night. Da, da, da. We'll figure it out tomorrow. So, I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So, we do that. Everybody inside. Everybody's like, oh, they tired. They're going to bed. Da, 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 da. So we up on the third. No, we up. It's us, couple one and couple two. So at this point, I'm getting to know girlfriend one and girlfriend two. And they all, like, they cool. And, you know, we talking and stuff. So girlfriend one goes into her bedroom. And girlfriend two um, comes up there, too. And she was like, you can come with us if you want to. So the guys was, you know, parlaying and politicking and things so we going upstairs and we in the room so she was like um we didn't know y'all was coming and i said huh and she was like nobody knew y'all was coming i said are you serious and she, she was like yeah she was like that's why the, the smaller room like you know y'all gonna stay in that one because when they planned it it was just for us the three couples and we didn't know that y'all were coming so i'm like that's odd so she's like yeah like i think jack just invited your uh, boyfriend at the last minute but he should have told you something like that is so fucked up like he, he should have said something to you i said this boy had me thinking that this trip was planned weeks ago like at least two weeks ago and that i us we were a part of the plan so she was like, no. no, it was Jack planning it for his birthday. And my boyfriend decided he was going to come. And her boyfriend decided that he was going to come. So we, you know, came along. And they just turned into a couple's thing. But we didn't know y'all were coming. I'm like, that is so crazy. I was like, see, I want to go home. Like, I'm just about to get myself and go home. They was like, no, just make it work. And the girl was like, well, you can sleep in here with us if you want to. Like, <laughs> you know, she was like, after me and my boyfriend, whatever, whatever. You can sleep in this bed with us if you want. So I was like no his ass go sleep on the floor and i'm gonna sleep in this twin bed so i go into the room and um there was a shower and a bathroom up there so i didn't feel like too bad you know what i'm saying so i went up there and i showered i got uh put my night stuff on and laid in the bed so he come and he trying to lay by beside me and i was like if you don't get your ass off of me in this fucking twin bed you need to get something and sleep on the floor so he like that's how you gonna do me that's how you i was like yeah i'm not about to be I said, if you don't sleep on the floor, then I'll sleep on the floor. I don't care. Nah, uh, you can have the bed. You can have the bed. I was like, okay, cool. So I said, I'm thinking about just leaving tomorrow and going back home. Why would you do that? We supposed to be here until Monday. I said, that's not what you told me. You said it was a weekend trip. We was coming on a Thursday and we were leaving on Sunday. I said, now you talking about, well, they just decided that just now and um, this, this, and that. I said, so... Because they're staying to Monday does not mean you have to stay into Monday. I was like, I'm leaving Sunday. I don't know what else you got to do. I'm going home Sunday. I got to get my daughter and I have to go to work. So I'm going home. So he was like getting an attitude and stuff. So I go to sleep. We wake up the next morning. We wake up. When we wake up, like um, me and girlfriend one talking. She was in the room. She was like, you come in here with me. So we're in there talking. And she was like, did y'all get a chance to talk? And I was like, no, I didn't even talk to him last night. I said, Today, I'm going to get me a room, and he better hope I don't go home. I was like, oh, he will be up here stuck. So, she was just like, that is so crazy. So, she said, you know, she was like, I don't know where everybody else at. So, we go downstairs. Everybody gone. So, Nuts and Girlfriend 2 had them went to the store and went shopping. So, Nuts was like, yeah, I went and bought all this stuff with my EBT. I went and bought all this stuff with my EBT. And, yeah, and we, I'm about to cook breakfast and this, this, and that. So she was like, girlfriend too, I want you to really cook this and cook that. And she just like saying little stuff and giggling and laughing and all this and that, whatever. So 
I didn't want to eat anything because I felt terrible. Like, okay, so you didn't even put no ends in on this cabin with these people. You invited me here saying that this was a trip for Jack and I for our birthdays. Then you got these girls here. One acting like she don't even want to talk and mingle. And I just feel bad. Like, I don't even want to eat these people's stuff. She's talking about she bought this stuff for her EBT and all this stuff like that. He was, man, we can go out and get some breakfast then if that's what you want to do. Da, 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 da. So I'm like, yeah, because I'm not eating these people's food. So once we left, he must be said something to Jack. So when we get back, then his girlfriend kind of seemed like a little different, like trying to be, I guess, nicer or whatever. So I told him, I was like, um, can you get my stuff from upstairs? He was like, well, what you doing? I said, I'm getting a room. So we all talking and they lighting fires and trying. He outside like an asshole. He back and forth, back and forth, picking up sticks, picking up sticks, picking up sticks. So they was like, girl, he is so determined. He is so serious about starting that fire. And I'm just so embarrassed because I'm sitting there looking at him. He's sweating. He looking crazy and trying to get all these sticks and trying to start this fire. And he constantly going. And they're like, Brody, the wind is it's not going to help. It's not going to, uh, you know, keep the fire. Like anytime you start it, it's going to go out because of the wind. Like we in the mountains, it's not going, you know, it's not going to stay. He's steady going, steady going, piling up sticks and stuff. So at this point, I'm just like, this is, is special. Uh, uh, he's special for sure. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, I'm so happy I'm getting to see him in this element with other people because I know you ain't for me. And when I leave here, you ain't never got to worry about me ever again, for sure. So, um, Nuts started actually talking and she, she said, she was like, I thought y'all was brother and sister. I said, huh? She was like, y'all resemble each other. I said, what? Is it because we both short? Like, he taller than me, but is it because we both short? Both brown skin? Like, what What, what you trying to say? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, I would have thought y'all was brother and sister. I wouldn't think y'all was, like, a couple or nothing. And I was like, yeah, we ain't going to be a couple. We ain't a couple. So they all just laughing, like, man, you was crazy. I said, no, because he should have never had me come up here knowing that this was not a trip that we was even supposed to come to or be on. He should have never lied. And I was like, I'm just not going for none of that. I was like, I have a daughter. I have, I'm in healthcare. I have things going for myself. I don't have time for this. So they just like, wow, he is something else. So the girl was like, yeah, my boyfriend was the one who paid for everything. And um, they like reimbursed him or whatever. But we didn't even know. Like, she was like, if we know, like, everybody kept saying, said, if we knew, then we could have get a bigger place. And da 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 da. And I'm just like, I said, and then I'm just like the odd person. Like, I don't know. And they was like, no, we don't know each other either. Just our dudes know each other. So I was like, but I still feel odd and out of place. Because they didn't even really know Dino like that. Dino was Jack's friend. So the other guys, like, they knew him in passing, but they didn't really know him. Like, Jack knew him. So to me, I'm just sitting there like, you know what I'm saying? Like, out of place. Like, I just felt so stupid and just like, what the fuck is this? So... All that happens, um, you know, the night gets goes down where everybody like, okay, whatever, whatever. So they was like, Y'all about to leave. So I'm like, yeah, they was like, Y'all sure y'all get in a room? Da, 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 da. So I'm like, Yeah, they was like, Well, y'all could have sleep downstairs on the couch if y'all wanted to. So I'm like, No, they was like, Yeah, we know y'all probably want y'all privacy, whatever. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about him. I just want to be able to sleep in a bed <laughs> and be comfortable. So I go and I found this hotel that was, uh, it had looked like a cabin on the house. I was really, it was really cute um it wasn't too expensive and it was you know i was able to get a room so i went there and i got the room so that night he trying to sleep in a bed you know like when you get a queen room a queen room is going to come with two queen beds he trying to sleep in the bed with me i was like no mm -mm. i took me a shower i got in the bed and i went to sleep so the next day come he like yeah let me call jack them and see what they about to do and this this and that so thursday night we stayed at the cabin friday night to the casino we went to the casino Saturday night. So Saturday night, that's when everybody was like, they going to the casino or whatever. So I was just like, he was like, yeah, you know, she familiar with it. She didn't been up here a lot, whatever, whatever. So they all confused and looking like they don't know where to go. So I'm telling them like, yeah, the casino downstairs. So I walked them and showed them like where the casino at. So I'm telling the girls, they was like, man, I'm not seeing no casino with them all night. Da, 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 da. So at this point by us being in the hotel and they being at the cabin, I'm really like the oddball at this point. So while he's inside playing the casino, I didn't get drunk. I didn't have me like 
two or three Patron margaritas. I'm lit. I'm like, you know, I'm going to the car. I ain't spending no more money in here. I went to my car and I sat in my car and went to sleep. By the time I woke up, this nigga was beating on my window. Like, hey, hey, wake up, wake up. Hey, I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you to answer your phone. And I'm like, bitch, because I'm in this the drunk and sleep. I guess I was waiting on you, to be honest. And I'm sitting in the car. He was like, well, why you ain't went with the girls? I'm like, you expect me to go with people that I don't know. They didn't say, hey, come on, go with us. I'm supposed to lollygag behind him like a sad little puppy. Like, no, I was not doing that. So I sat in the car and waited on you. So he was like, man, you acting funny. You acting funny, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, whatever. So we go back to the hotel um, Saturday night. We get back to the hotel. And he was like, oh, he was like, I got a, he said, I got a free room. He was like, I got a free room because I didn't lost so much money playing poker up there. So they gave me a free room. So I was like, well, why you didn't say nothing before we left the casino? So we go to the hotel, we get the stuff. And I basically like let the people know like, okay, yeah, we leave, whatever. So I get some of my money back. And then he like, man, I'm going to have to call my mama. So I'm like, I didn't lost all my money. I'm broke. I'm da, 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 da. So I'm like, oh yeah, you better call somebody. So we get to the casino to go to the room. So he like showing me the, the um the key and i'm like okay well i know what that's that like this it's up here da, da, da. so we get into the room he trying to do the hanky panky with me or whatever we do the hanky panky then you turn that ass around Wait. but <laughs> we did a little something something i ain't gonna lie so this night i i was you know what i'm saying i didn't have a little bit of drink and i'm feeling it and i'm i'm feeling good so we did do something right um so we do all that whatever we go to sleep the next day, which is Sunday, we were supposed to leave. So he had then talked me into staying to Monday because everybody was staying until Monday. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll leave Monday. So like, man, we don't want to get on that road. Like, what if something happened and we need each other? Everybody else leaving Monday and we leaving Sunday. So couple one was like, no, they leaving Sunday night. They getting up out of there. Like, they got work and they got other stuff going on. They was in school and stuff too. So um sunday we all hanging out they the girls cook we went over there we did eat at this point we they all being nice and friendly and stuff and nuts is being nice too and talking so they was like they go, the guys was going back to the casino they went to the casino and we was just trying to find something to do so we went to go try to play bingo they had to lock the bingo uh door we riding and we riding and we didn't ride until we get into damn tennessee and they like oh we need to turn around because like the borders is like right there so we turn around we come back so i was like y'all know the, the casino got bowling and they got other stuff to do there too so they was like no for real so i was t like yeah let's do this so nuts was just like she really wanted to drink she's like i need a drink like i really really want to drink bad i can drink wine y'all because everybody said when you pregnant you could drink red wine so i was like i wouldn't advise you to do it i said but i've heard people say they've had red wine um because it's good for your heart or whatever but i would just be careful if i was you so she was just like yeah i'm a, um i'm gonna have to see i'm so we get down there she go to the bar this bitch get red wine she was like the rest of y'all drinking i got to drink some too and it's just i'm just trying not to smoke and i'm not trying and i'm like so you pregnant she was like yes yeah, so how far along are you she was like uh four weeks and i was just like oh you should be fine or whatever so we all do that then we start bowling we buying food i bought them food and stuff while we was down there and we bowling and having a good time she was like i like you you cool like at this point now it's like i like you you cool and all this and that but bitch at first you wanted to be acting crazy but i get it some people just that way when they meet new people and maybe she thought i was cute maybe she thought i was fucking on her nigga but come to find out dino was hooking him up with girls from where i live so i don't know if she thought i knew or she assumed like i was probably putting my homegirls on her nigga when he was with Dino, but that wasn't the case. I didn't know none of this. So we talking and she was telling me like, yeah, um, your boyfriend was hooking him up with this girl and this, this and that and them girls down there. Da, 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 da. And I was like, them bitches ain't about nothing, man. You ain't even got to worry about that. Them girls ain't got shit going on. Da, 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 da. So she was like, oh, I be, she was like, oh, I be fucking his ass up. He, he, he already know not to play with me and this, this and that. So I was like, girl. These people is nuts. And I'm all I gotta tell you is you ain't gotta worry about none of that. And he better not be dealing with nothing down there. Cause them girls is disgusting. So she was like, Yeah, same where we live at too. And he already know I done did this and did that and and 
it's just, like when I say the reason I'm calling her nuts is because she is nuts and like she's showing me videos and she's showing me stuff she done did to him and all that and I was just like yeah this girl is like fatal attraction nuts like nuts so she was like that was her first baby and all this other stuff like that too so I was like you know at the time maybe I understood because I was a little cray cray behind my baby daddy but yeah I was crazy behind my baby daddy I'm gonna leave it at that I ain't even gonna elaborate so all that goes on they playing in the casino they didn't play in the casino all night so sunday this is sunday night we played we did bowling we ready to go so we like we about to leave y'all can do whatever so um they was like they was getting ready to go back to the house and it was like you can come with us if you want to i was like but my car here and we staying here at the casino and all this stuff like that i was like you know he got the room and she was like girl they gave that room to my boyfriend because he lost a lot of money up there she was like let me show you so she showed me the thing and I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, so he just lying and lying and lying. I was like, this is why I can't fuck with him. I was like, because what is the point of that? And they was like, yeah, that is so crazy. So me and girlfriend one, we just chit-chatting. And she's like, I'm showing her like where I work and my baby and all the stuff I had going on. And she was like, yeah, you was too good for somebody like him. Like, he just doing too much. And he don't seem like he got no goals and ambition. And you just don't deserve that. Like, you seem like a very, very sweet girl. And we switched numbers. And then... I switched numbers with all of them and you know from that day forward like they would text me and stuff and I'll go into another story time with that about Dino ass so anyways it's Sunday so Sunday night girlfriend one and well couple one had packed their stuff up because they were leaving that night so he had done left them at the casino and came back so they was like getting their stuff ready because they was getting ready to go and then Couple two and Jack and Nuts was staying. And then he go, do you know, want to stay too till Monday. So I was like, you know what? Monday morning, we got to go. At this point, my mama is mad with me because she's like, you supposed to come back Sunday. You supposed to come get your baby. Like, you you know, you this, this, and that. I told you to have fun and enjoy your birthday. But when you tell me one day, you need to be back that day. That is wrong of you. You shouldn't do that. So now I'm just like all worked up because I'm like, damn, my family mad at me now because now I'm staying. But it really wasn't you know me staying because of him it was on me at this point like i mean i realized being an adult it was on me because i could have been like no and i could have got in the car and left i just didn't want to drive all the way like by myself but i've done driving like that before so i would have been straight but i think i was just in my head like no don't leave him don't be a bad person and just leave or be the debbie downer and leave the trip or whatever whatever so that night we get to the casino and the room or whatever he comes in and he doing all this and that i didn't get on get on him because i see his phone and he texting up that he claimed he was a dealer with no more so i'm like fuck you you this you that you da 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 whatever whatever so he sleeps in the other bed i sleep in the bed uh, the other bed and he's like i wake up the next morning i'm getting dressed and ready to go he doing the same i'm getting myself take my stuff down he like oh you ain't talking to me i'm like nah i'm good on you like for real bro like i just want to get back home i'm about to go and when i get back to where i live at you ain't even got to worry about hearing from me again he like for real that's how you gonna act this this and that so he in the car we in the car driving getting ready to leave everybody else he didn't call him they're like yeah we getting ready to hit the road to this this and that so we getting up out of there and we in the car he like man i ain't got no money i done lost everything man i done the money my mom and my sister sent me i done lost that i done lost this man that casino real that casino real <laughs> da, 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 da. bitch what you thought it was fake Huh? Stupid. So, I'm just sitting there like, ugh, I'm disgusted. Like, I'm just disgusted. Like, I can't even believe I sat here and I'm dealing with somebody like this. Like, ugh. Like, knowing the type of guy my baby daddy is, my child's father, and dealing with something like this, it was just like, I was just utterly disgusted with myself. Because I was just like, it's no way I got involved with somebody like this. Like, he's so childish. He's immature. And y'all, like, he doing all this and that. So, he, once he had put gas in my car for us to get to where he needed to go. And he had gave me some money. When I dropped him off, y'all, I pull up in the road. He put the money on the little console. And I... Been trying to call me i ain't even answered when i got back home i felt so bad like i apologize to my mom and my sisters 
you know, because they was watching my baby. And I just was like, yep, yeah, I ain't dealing with that no more. Because you got me looking like a bad mother, a bad person, all of that. Like, well, I had myself looking like I had the option to go. So, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, y'all, that was this is the story time about the worst cabin trip in history. Going somewhere that ain't even was meant for us to even go. And dealing with a motherfucker who lies. Just lie and 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 lie. For no damn reason. Because you ain't even had no reason to do that. Just to be lying. Like, why you just saying shut the fuck up? Like, you should have said, listen, this trip ain't been planned for us to go. But I want to go because I want to go to the casino or whatever. And I want you to come. I would have understand that. Then I would have been more prepared. Like, okay. Let me go ahead and do this and do this and do that. You ain't even give me the opportunity to be prepared. And you lying. And then you ain't even had no money, brokey. Lying. About simple stuff. Now you got me looking stupid. But I did make some good friendships out of that situation. And the girls were really, really nice. Nuts is nuts. And nuts is going to be nuts. <laughs> but they were very, very sweet once they got to know me. And I got to know them. And... It was nice to, you know, at least get out there and meet some people and they see like who I am and see my heart and my inside as a person. But um, as for Dino ass, that's why his ass in the feds right now, because the bitch don't learn a lesson ever. Y'all, then he had a nerd to call me the other day. And I answered because I thought it was somebody else. But anyways, I did tell y'all if that story time had hit a thousand views, I was going to put some money on his boots. So I guess I got to uphold it. I'm going to do that. But he ain't get that. That's it. He don't need to call me because we don't have nothing to discuss. Um, But yeah, after that one call, I ain't answer him no more. Is that wrong? <laughs> so y'all, I need y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to comment the number like you are, the number you wish to enter as the giveaway number. And your cash app. So that way, if you're the winner, I can cash app you. And I don't have to go asking you, what's your cash app? I can just go ahead and cash app it to you. It's $50 when we get to 300 subs. And I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in with me. I know this story time was kind of like, oh, wow. Like, you know, whatever, whatever. It's just a, it was a breeze one. And it's the craziest one. But y'all take this as, as a lesson. Ask questions. And make sure wherever you're going that you're meant to be there. And that you are a part of the plan. I am the type of person that I don't insert myself in anything and I don't go where I'm not invited. So that really, really bothered me. And my my fellow Scorps, y'all know, that's just us. And we got the control. We got to know the itinerary and everything that's going on. We don't have time to be trying to figure out what y'all already had planned. And, and I don't like, that's what, I don't like surprises. I don't like people planning stuff for me. I like to be the planner because I can control what's happening. All that other foolery. Mm -mm. So anyways, y'all, don't forget about the P.O. Box. And don't forget to enter into the giveaway. I love, 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 love y'all so, so, so much. And I thank y'all so much for everything. Mm -hmm.